okay i'm back again with my beautiful model say hi she's being a little shy right now so i want to show you guys some more designs that you can use hopefully whenever you want to so i'm going to be doing another design using my kabuki brush and a combination of different things some new arty cakes that came out so i'm going to start off by loading my kabuki brush in a little bit of this uh metallic light blue just like this i just rub it over the surface and i pick up a nice uh, coverage on it and then what i'm going to do close your eyes for me is i'm just going to head right over her eye and i'm going to head up kind of like in a rounded motion so it almost looks like it's a wave right there and i'm just going to fan it out over her eyes and then um oh you can leave them on my desk uh -huh. On my, on my desk. You did. You could probably leave it. Okay, leave it on my desk. Okay. All right, thanks, Maria. So I just came up over her eye like a wave right in there. I'm going to go over the middle, over her bottom eye, and I just bring it up just like that. So I'm covering the middle and just fanning it out kind of into her hair Can there. you do it in my hair? Maybe. I'm a little like that. I know. So basically, I just made this wave, and I brought it right off of her hair right there. So then all I'm going to do is load uh, my kabuki, the same kabuki, even though I'm, uh, it still has a little light, metallic light blue, and I'm just going to load it with a little bit of this light blue. So then I just loaded it with a little more, bit more of a darker blue, and I'm going to just come right on top of it and just kind of dust the edges just like this so that I'll have a little bit um, of a contrast of colors right in there. So now I have a little bit of a darker blue and a lighter blue. So now we have the actual base for this design. The next thing I'm going to do is take these beautiful colors. Leah really liked these colors, right? And I'm going to create some fish. And I think you guys will find this technique pretty cool. And basically what I'm going to do, and my cool friend, Rebecca of Artie Brush, she's the one who taught me this fish, and it just totally blows me away. So I'm going to start off by just loading my brush back and forth, back and forth, just like this, so that I'm picking up all of the colors. So as you can see, and these are the new Artie Cakes, they're nice and long, I just absolutely love them. So then I'm gonna turn Leah a little bit this way, right here. So what I'm gonna do is from, let me, let me zoom in for you guys. So from the side right here, I'm gonna make a little loop, just like that. Okay, so it's a side loop. And then right on top of it, I'm going to make a little petal, just like that. So that's going to be the body of my fish. Now I'm going to flip my brush around, and I'm just going to kind of fan it out just like that. And I'm going to flip my brush around and fan it out just like that so that I get um, those fins on my fish. And then I'm just going to flick the ends just like that. So now you see I have this little fish right there. I'm also going to make a little fish right here, right up here, so that they're all floating in that direction. So again, I'm going to make a little loop, just like that. And then right on top of it, I'm going to make another one. So what you want to do when you're doing this is you want to make sure that the colors are lining up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my brush and make this little outside petal. So it almost looks like your peacock feather. So then I'm going to just fan it out again from the top and from the bottom and then I just make my little uh, my little fins right there. So now I'm starting off with this beautiful kind of aquatic fish mask and she looks so beautiful, don't you? I'm going to just make the edges of it um, a little bit more surf and water spray like. So I'm using my white paint. I'm just loading up my wolf white on my brush. Look at me. Look up. So then on the corners, I'm just going to go for that jagged, rough edge. And I just pull it in. Just like that. To almost make it look as if it's a wave. So then I'm just going to just brush it out a little bit more. Or that could be your... Uh, that could be your cloud. And then I'm just going to add some teardrops, just using this filbert brush right into uh, the corner of her eye, right in there. Then because this mask is actually going up and over, that's the same effect that I want to create. So look, at, look up a little bit. 
So then right on top of this side, um, then what I'm going to do is from the corner of her eye right over here, maybe I should go on this side so you guys can see. From the corner of her eye right over here, I'm going to come down from her eye, make kind of like a longer teardrop, and then I'm going to use my brush to just make some teardrops right into it, just like that. And then maybe just one right in between there like that to fill in that space. So then I'm going to use one of my second favorite tools. It's called a, a style stick. And what it is is this foam applicator sponge and it makes perfect dots. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to get it wet and then I'm going to rub it around the surface of my wolf paint so that I get it loaded. And you actually have to use a little bit more paint. So then I ro rolled it and I got it wet with white. And then I'm just going to take a corner and I'm going to pick up a little bit of blue and then lift up. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make these little bubbles. You're not making bubbles. Bubbles are like a ball. Yep, that's what I'm doing. So then I'm going to uh, just make a few more bubbles here. And the harder you press, uh, the bigger your bubbles are going to be, or the bigger your circles, and the lighter you press, the smaller they'll be. So I just made a few coming up in that direction, and then I have a few right there in that direction. Alright, so then because Leah asked me to paint on her neck too, then I'm going to reload my arty cake brush, just like this, and I'm going to make her a little fish necklace. So I'm just going to go right across her neck, just like this, there's one swipe, and from this side, I'm going to go on this swipe, just like that. So now she has a beautiful uh, necklace, and then I'm going to make a little fish right in the middle, using my arty brush again. So again, what I told you guys was I did a loop, and then I'm going to do a loop right on top of that one. So I'm going to flip my brush around. and make this petal, so I flip my brush around and make this petal right on top and make sure that when I fan out those fins that the colors are matching up. And so I did it right there. So now she has a little fish necklace as well and we'll finish that off by outlining everything as well. So I'll go, so then what I'm going to do, I'm going to have her close her eyes and then again I'm going to extend out the corner of her eyes right here just like that and then in between these bubbles, I'm going to just add a few smaller ones, just like that, and maybe some swirlies right around them. Heather, can you take a picture of me? I will. And then I'm going to add a few little starbursts right around there. And the same thing as this cluster right here. A few little starbursts right in there before we actually go in and we're going to... Oh, be nice before we actually go in and we're going to give it an outline with a darker blue. So then finally what I'm going to do is because this design is coming around her nose then I'm just going to go in and I'm going to add a little bit of a swirl in there to make this whole design flow around her face and then look up a little bit and then from this way from this actual wave right inside of there I'm going to come up and I'm going to come down and I'm going to swirl it in there so that I get that fluidity between this design. So it's going to go up and across her face just like that. Finally, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start outlining this. So I'm going to come right over this design and I'm going to go thicker on the outside edges with the outline just like that. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid of that. Okay, so now as you can see what I did is I gave it a, a darker outline using a darker blue and finally I'll give it a black outline, very thin, once I'm all done. So I'm going back in. Are you going to give me lipstick? Oh, of course. Okay, so now from this side, I'm going to go in and I'm going to outline these as well. And I'm going thicker on the blue outline and I'm going to go thinner on the black outline that's coming next. So as you can see what I did, I just gave it this outline to really define that area. So just like that, again, all I'm going to do is just give these same lines and outline the same thing in this direction, heading 
down and under. And then to finish off this design, I'm going to just use a little bit of black to kind of give it this full, but when I start using, and I gotta give her some lipstick. But to finish it off, I'm going to go very thin on my black. So as you can tell, look how thin I'm going. I'm just loading my brush really nicely with some wolf black. And then when I start to outline, I'm going as thin as I can get because you don't want it to be super heavy. You want it to be thin. You don't want your design to be overpowered by black, especially when you're using, um, when you're doing these really soft pastel colors. So then I'm going to just make my little eye inside of my fish. And then if you're comfortable, you can give them a full outline using some black. Make them happy if you want to. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to just... Heather, this is how you make a bubble. <laughs> You're funny. So again, I'm just giving these, these teardrops a little bit of an outline right inside of there to make them more defined. And again, I'll give my fish a little bit of an outline as well. And this thing is this step is extremely optional. So um, again, quickly, I'm just going over these actual lines that I did, and I'm going thin. And then I'm going to, on the edges down here, do the same thing. Just give them a slight bit of a, look up. Now look down. I'm giving them a slight bit, and then I'll finish up quickly on this side. Okay. So then I just gave those an outline. Now for the finishing touch, I'm going to add some glitter and a lipstick, and then my beautiful Leomari is going to be ready for the party. Okay, so now I'm just going to put a little bit of lipstick on her. What color is it? It's pink. Uh, this, I'll put a little bit of blue in the middle. So I added a little bit of pink, and then by request, I'm going to add a little bit of blue right in the middle of her lips. So I'll add a little bit of a blue pearl right in the middle of her lips, just like that. And then she, and then I have to use my favorite stuff, glitter. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit of pink glitter on each of her fish and on her necklace right in here. And on the sides of her lips right inside of there. And then she is going to look in the camera right in here and smile. So this is turn to your left and turn to your right. So this is a pretty aqua mask uh, using Artie Cakes. And thank you guys for joining us. Have a great day. Say bye.